Good morning, people, world, YouTube, everywhere, anywhere. So, uh, yeah, did a lot of work yesterday. Um, took some trees down, took this tree down, and then pulled the root out, or the roots and the stump. Leveled the ground a little bit with the Yanmar, my little tractor. Um, yeah, and then I started working on this tree that isn't here anymore. And uh, these, these chainsaws failed me yesterday, failed me miserably. Oh no, an, a bug. Oh, where is it? I don't even see it on the camera. Anyway, a bug right there, a fly in the oil. Anyway, sorry, getting distracted by little things. So yeah, the chainsaws, I couldn't get them to stay running to save my life. I didn't rebuild the carburetors, but I cleaned the carburetors twice. Um, did all kinds of stuff, cleaned them, took them apart. Drained the fuel, got new fuel in there, mixed it, did just whatever I could to try to get it running. Um, I ended up cutting that tree and all the branches down that was there, wherever it's at. Did that with the chainsaw. Um, I couldn't get the Husqvarna to run. Um, that used to be my go-to one. This one, this one I've had forever. And this one would run, even though my primer thing broke yesterday, because it's been sitting out forever. So the primer broke, but it still ran, still worked. That was just a squirt fuel in there. Um, adjusted the carburetors, highs, lows, idle, set them all to factory. Yeah, it was a pain in the butt. And the Husqvarna still wouldn't work. So I ended up cutting this one big branch that was on the power lines so that one always grew around the power lines every year so I cut that one off cut it down it fell um, I don't know it kind of fell <laughs> I'm gonna draw here so here's the power lines running from my house there was the tree branch there's the tree so I cut it on this side I cut a V in it like this on this side so that it would fold this way so then I started cutting it right here so that it would f break and fall and it went right towards the power line <laughs> didn't work out the way I wanted it but whatever it didn't do any damage it didn't rip the power line down um, all's good so uh, but yeah um, took that branch down, had to take more branches down, um, it was a lot of work with the chainsaws that didn't run, and then, uh, this right here is from an axe, I had to cut the tree down the rest of the way with an axe, kind of beat up, kind of tired, and I'll show you the axe, it's not a a real tree cutting axe it's more like a like a wood splitting axe um but uh yeah anyway oh, here's the axe i call it anthony's shin killer because when we first got it um my kid was using it in the backyard and went right through his shin and he had to go and get I don't know, 13, I think 13 stitches. But anyway, um, I don't know if you see anything weird about it. A special contour. So this used to be straight. And uh, yeah, because I was swinging so much, it's so powerful. Uh, yeah, it's bent now. And it's not supposed to be bent. It is supposed to be straight. So um, this is all metal and I think this is just a tubing uh, an oval tubing um, but yeah you can see I don't know if you can see or not but 
all that all the chipping that's right on this edge right there that's paint chipping from the metal bending and then you can see let's see let's see let's see let's see let me get you somewhere because I didn't think I bent it I thought that's how it came and my kid said no it's bent because he remembers he studied this thing like a hawk um, so you can see all the the stress in the paint all the ripples you can feel them it's all rippled right here um, basically where the metal is bent but anyway yeah I'm He-Man I'm Thor and then uh, figured uh, this is a rhyme but I'm so sore might as well go to the gym in the morning so I went to the gym this morning because why not I'm already beat up but it's a little more beat up um, so yeah, that's basically uh, all I did yesterday after I did the uh, hot water heater flush. And uh, yeah, I was going to sort through uh, some recyclables and take the recyclables in. And then I got too busy rebuilding carburetors and doing all that junk. Um, but anyway, uh, yeah, so that's what I did yesterday. Um... I did file, I do file my axes, <laughs> I file the axe blades, I did uh, file and sharpen all the, uh, I think the files over there, but I did file my uh, chainsaw chains, those are all filed, and anyway, so these are the ones that I needed and I couldn't find them. Stupid. Anyway, I ended up using the Harbor Freight ones. These are from Harbor Freight. They did work. They uh, just took a little longer to cut through the metal. So I sharpened the blades. I'm not going to do a video on how to sharpen the blades. There's billions of videos out there how to sharpen them. Plus, uh, the guys that are out there on the videos, they're professionals. And I'm definitely not. So, anyway, did move the truck back. I did move it forward with the tractor. Um, I did bolt the drive shaft on because it did did fall off. So anyway, um, so yeah. Anyway, that's gonna be it for this video, guys. Kind of a boring, long, drawn out video. I'm gonna be doing uh, five things I like about the Audi, five things I dislike about the Audi, um, five things I like about the Mega Cab, and five things I don't like or dislike about the Mega Cab. I'm actually gonna go out to the dodge right now and do that video so anyways guys that's gonna be it for this video stay tuned for those videos and uh yeah i'm probably gonna be picking up a mulcher branch chopper shredder i can't remember what you call them anyway i'm gonna try to go pick one up today if the guy will ever uh email me back so all right guys thanks for watching make sure you comment subscribe and one in Glen, another free money Friday. Other than it's free money with Tuesday. Cutting trees down by yourself. Chainsaws, axes, and axes. Later.